An elderly woman is speaking out after losing more than $25,000 while working with a contractor. She claims the work on her home was never completed. News 10's Rodrika Taylor spoke with the woman and the contractor to see what caused the work to stop. I'm inside the wash house of 73-year-old Lucille Lujan's home. She says this is the last place where she hired a contractor to do work. However, she says the work was not completed because the contractor wanted more money when she already paid thousands of dollars. This was supposed to be towards the house and all the work that he himself wrote in the contracts. Okay? This is all of his doing, not mine. The only work that was done was the wash house. That's all that was done. He never did the work inside my house. Not one thing. LeJan says she hired Brett O'Quinn of Nelzik Construction, LLC, to do work inside her house and build a wash house. News 10 reached out to the company and was told O'Quinn and LeJan agreed to have the work done as separate jobs. The, the stuff inside her house had to come after the painting, uh, the addition being built because everything needed paint after. We never agreed to do the addition and the paint and then get paid. We were asking her, when we're done with the addition, you need to pay us for the addition, our labor, and then we'll start on your painting. And then you pay us for the painting when it's done. The 73 year old says the contractor wanted more money. I offered him 8000 rather than the 11000 Well, the man was not happy with that. She says the contractor took the money. So, with all of that totaling, 25600 if you told all of that that I paid it. With the remaining of 14200 She says nothing inside her house was completed. The reason it is not finished is because she was trying to add in more stuff. She is trying to get us to finish the whole entire job and then get paid. That's not the way things work. People do not work for free. We never agreed to do the addition and the paint and then get paid. Unit's police department says they are having officers gather details, and if this is a criminal case, then an investigation will move forward. In Unit's Rodrigo Taylor, KLFY News 10. Thank you, Rodrigo. The Better Business Bureau tells News 10 the business is registered with the Secretary of State, but not licensed with the State Contractors Board. State regulations say he is not required to have licensing for any project under $7,500.